I think in the next two weeks, we're going to be adding two more storms to our list. One will be in the Atlantic, and I'm still worried about homegrown development. The forecast feed, or as I call it, the feed brought to you by the AccuWeather Pro site where you too can be a pro. Straight out to the satellite here this morning, I want to show you uh, the system that we are uh, watching here. There we go. Let me put this into motion. There it is. There's the tropical wave that's coming off Africa right now. It's going to be going into this area where we have showers and thunderstorms to numerous. What this is going to do is, once this gets out in there, what it will end up doing is uh, consolidating all of these showers and the thunderstorms in the one trackable feature. Now, the question then remains is, are we going to get any development within that area? And I believe the answer is resoundingly yes. Let me show you the modeling here. And what we're looking at is wind shear. I'm going to look at the uh, winds at around 40,000 feet, the 200 millibar here. And what I'm going to show you is, as this tropical mo wave moves across the Atlantic, it's going to be moving in the low wind shear. So I start this out on Monday evening. This system is going to be right around in here. And oh, by the way, we've always mentioned, as long as this stays south of 15 degrees north, right, it's going to have a good chance to develop. Because once you get north of 15 degrees north, you get into these dark darker blues, yellows, and reds, that's where you have wind shear. Remember, wind shear weakens systems. Low wind shear allows them to strengthen. So look what's going on here on Monday. I'm going to play this forward. You've got this, this upper level high that is across the Atlantic. Underneath this, you have low wind shear. That's this on Monday. So that's what it looks like on Monday, and the system's going to be moving into this area. Look what goes on by Wednesday. Let's skip ahead toward the uh, middle part of the week. Where does that high start to shift? Here, near the islands, right? This is Wednesday evening. By now, this system is right around in here, and then as we head into, let's say, Friday, it'll be approaching the islands. And what do you see? An area of high pressure building across the island. So basically, what's going to happen is, this upper high, with low wind shear is going to be following the storm as it moves from east to west. And that's why I feel very strong, uh, strong likelihood that this is going to be developing as we head in the next week. Not so much early in the week, but by the time this gets to the islands, and when is that going to be late in the week, Thursday into Friday, I think we're going to have Jerry. I think it's at least a tropical storm. The question is, where does it go? There's going to be a fork in the road as we head into uh, next week. The fork is right in here. Does it go into the Atlantic or does it stay in the Caribbean? If it stays in the Caribbean, we have a huge problem because there's low wind shear here also, and there's also going to be warm water. In fact, I, I, I want to show you this really quick early next week. Let's look at the 200 millibar like as we get into Tuesday. You see what's going on here? You see these light colors? That's low wind shear. If this system stays into the Caribbean, we're going to not only have a hurricane, we're going to have a major hurricane. The question is, will it? I want to show you the computer modeling for this. I want to show you, like I normally do, the uh, European and the American model. So here we go as we head into Thursday. So here's the system. You can see it right here. You see the yellows, oranges, and reds? That's our tropical storm, I think, at this point. This is the European model. This is the American. European, American, pretty much in the same area. Let's head toward Friday evening. Now, here's the fork in the road. This is the European model. The American model has it just getting into the northeastern Caribbean. There's the European model right near the uh, 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 Virgin Islands. So they're pretty much in the same area. Where do they go from there? Both modeling takes it where? In the Atlantic. There's the American. That's on Saturday. There's the European, very similar. And then both. There's the American staring it out to sea. There's the European staring it out to sea. I think... That's probably right, but again, I'm worried. If this system finds its way into the Caribbean, we have some problems, not only because of the wind shear, but take a look at this. These are the water temperatures, and these are the anomalies. Remember, water temperatures here are usually around 83, 84. These are showing you that water temperature anomalies or temperatures compared to the historical average are running about three to four degrees 
above historical average. So that's going to put temperatures well in the 80s, 85, 86, 89 degrees. If anything finds its way into the Caribbean with low wind shear, and there will be mid to late next week, we could be looking at a huge problem. Now, I've been watching, I've been telling you about this pattern for the la last month. Mid-October, about the 15th through the 20th, let's watch this area. Pattern recognition, I've been doing this for 35 years. Anytime you see an area of high pressure building across the mid-Atlantic states, what ends up happening is, is this. You end up, you end up getting with a boundary that stalls in here, right? And when boundaries stall, what do they produce? Showers and thunderstorms. And that's the beginning of the tropical process here. And even when you look at some of the modeling, I want to show you this coming up next. Even when you look at uh, some of the modeling, as we get into uh, this time frame, uh, mid to, uh, let's say, October, I want to show you this. Look what goes on here on the 16th. This is, this is the European model and American model. They're all showing all this energy. Where? Where? Northwest Caribbean here with the frontal boundary I just draw. This is the area to watch as we move forward. Two storms, I think, coming up in the next two weeks. And that's the message on the feed.